is the pen truly mightier than the sword? Well, this is a pretty cool looking can. You know who it's from, that's right. The Titans from Burial, Asheville, Charlotte, Raleigh, all over North Carolina and Distro down here into South Carolina now. So this is called Irreverent Observations of a Compromised World. Let's get compromised and see just how irreverent my opinions are right after the theme song. Here I am, Nutmeg 2 Palmetto, here with another beer review. Coming to you from my temporary upstate oasis. And you know what? I'm gonna apologize in advance because throughout this video you may catch some uh, some brass playing. <laughs> some, uh, some parents in the neighborhood decided uh, to move and get their kids to learn, I guess, and it's quite loud. <laughs> I'll apologize in advance. Oh, there it is. Anyway. <laughs> This is called Irreverent Observations of a Compromised World. It is an IPA. It is from Burial, the Great Burial. I got it from my main man Todd at Upstate Beer Geek on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, it's pretty cool can art. There's this uh, hand, feet, appendages sort of triangle going around and uh, I guess a kind of sim symbolic structure of uh, unity. Uh, it's got a sword right in the middle pointing down to a little skull. Uh, and then some sketches on either side. One is a giant uh, cone mushroom. And the other one is, uh, I guess it's a rock or a stone of some kind. But it kind of looks like a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon made out of mushroom. Uh, uh, this is being an IPA. We'll uh, see if we can check optimal freshness. I just see a little black slash on the bottom. So this may not have a date. I don't think Todd got this that long ago, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too old. Brewed in can by Burial in Asheville, illustrated by David Paul Seymour. Uh, Burial, of course, I mean that's their original location in Asheville, but they do have a location in Charlotte. They do have a location in Raleigh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, what we got checks in at seven seven five, so that's uh, pretty robust and not you know not super heavy, but also not uh, super light. Well, I don't want to say it's not crushable. I guess we'll find that out. When where logic and rationality have no home, a place where rules are moribund treachery in the eyes of those who seek them, that which feeds the undeniable force of uncontrollable vexation that which we must all endure a commentary on all we have left made with oats and incognito double dry hopped with loads of hand selected mosaic and matuika with a touch of grungeist okay so there's a lot of good hops in there uh grungeist i'm pretty sure i've had before but not very often matuika obviously i've had quite a bit of that's an excellent hop in my opinion mosaic pretty standard incognito i usually like so uh I'm pretty excited by this, and uh, it's it, it, like I said, it's pretty cool can design. So, get to some ASMR as much as I can. At least while the uh, tubo is taking a break, huh? <laughs> oh, it's got a nice uh, bright yellow, lemony, golden color, right? It's pretty solid. Big white head. Um, hmm. I'll switch hands so the sunlight's. And that one, or a little sunlight is left on this uh, mid to again into that uh, mid winter, mid December time. Uh, it is pretty thick and dense, hazy. That there's definitely no light coming through that, and uh, it's it's definitely not opaque in any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it does have that big white foamy head. Uh, I guess we'll go Tommy towards the glass on this one. And I, it does look like a glass of orange juice. So the last barrel, I think, I can't remember now. It was really good. I think it was more West Coast style. I think it was. This one is um, more uh, obviously New England and hazy. 
very, very strong, uh, pure orange type of aroma. Want to say a little bit of peach or mango, probably maybe more so mango, but mostly orange, uh, like a kind of ripe, freshly peeled orange, clementine even. A little bit sweet, so I think that's gonna be tasty. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm kind of thinking with hazies lately, they always, um, they always wind up being when they smell like luscious and creamy and soft and sweet. They always wind up having this big, harsh hot bite. So. Uh, we'll see if this follows tune or if it's uh, a little softer on the palate. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. I will say, <sighs> yeah, well, you know, three for good measure. Now, this one, interestingly enough, it starts off a lot, very soft. It's not, doesn't have that harsh, dank bite to it. Up front, it's pretty soft and whatnot. Um, and, but, however, it does kind of hang around your mouth with a more dank, uh, bitter, medium palate. The ending though it kind of wants to be bitter but it doesn't really like it kind of like it starts the finish starts to come in a bit more on the harsher side and then it just kind of mellows out so it's actually kind of nice it's like teasing you it's like okay hop heads here you go here you go nope pull it back yeah i don't mind that one bit uh it, it's it's got all the profiles you would want but it's not it, it doesn't make it so uh so strong that it just kind of blows your palate out. Uh, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, cheers to the Upstate Beer Geek for this one. Another great one by Burial. Cheers, friends. See you next time.